Hello guys, welcome to RPA feed and in today's session we will be having a session on interactive forms. Interactive form are part of RE that is Automation Anywhere Robotic Interface. Then we have RE for desktop and RE for web. So interactive forms are basically RE for desktop. So with that, let's get started. So I have created one folder with the name interactive forms inside bots folder and now we will create a form. So to create a form, you have this icon over here. Create a form. Okay. So let's name this form as an employee form or employee details and create it. So once you create a form, you get to this kind of a designer view where you can add the form title. So let me uh, let me say here employee details. You can name anything. And this is just an uh, uh, title or heading that appears over here and here you have a column layout wherein you can place the elements on the form so right now let's uh, let me delete this uh, we don't want this uh, we can directly drag and drop one of the uh, text box wherein we will take the name of employee so here we can name um, enter your name or we can we can leave this as a blank and here we can uh, we can enter the default value like enter your name so we can we can keep it like this and once the user enters his name employee enters his name we can capture that value and you have the uh, ability to make this field as required so uh, any uh, it's mandatory then uh, to enter the value you can make this uneditable uh, then user will not be able to um, uh, type in the value you can mask the data so whenever you type anything the uh, yeah, the data will be masked you will not be able to see what uh, the user has typed in so we just keep it as a required field as of now and then here we are we are entering the uh, name we kept it this uh, we clicked on the mask option that's why the default value got uh, truncated enter your name this is default value um, and we can expect one more uh, checkbox no this is just we don't want checkbox we want another text box over here and there we can take employee uh, ID maybe um, enter your employee ID and from here the tech we can remove this element label it's not needed if you want if you don't want it to be like this you can you can drag and drop label as well you can divide this section into uh, this kind of column and then at in one column you can place label and another column you can place text box right so that label will say name and this text box will be blank so this way also you can design your form in the in the uh, column layout so we don't want this right now I'll just delete this okay so we have two text boxes and then we will have one uh, button submit button over here so this button will submit the data whatever you have entered over here okay so from here button types you can choose primary secondary depending on the button types it it uh, it changes the layout it changes the design of the button so it's normal button it's a primary button we'll keep it primary and you can uh, you can check these uh, advanced behavior so we can keep validate all form fields once the button is clicked and we didn't uh, we didn't uh, mention the employee ID to be a mandatory field or a required field we can mark this as a required field you can have an option to uh, uh, add regular expressions over here as well so that's for validation purposes and then uh, over here I'd like to display a text area so whatever text or whatever data we captured from here we read from here we'll display uh, that over here in the text area so let me remove this and uh, in the default value we don't want anything and we'll mark this as an uneditable field so the purpose of this field is just to display whatever the value we captured from here as an output over here so let's keep this like this save and we have we'll have one more button to close the form so let me drag and drop one more button over here and let's mention this as a close button and secondary okay just to differentiate between the two and save this this is this is our form the form uh, uh, our design has been completed 
we'll just say here uh, enter your employee id that's fine okay so this is our form uh, the form basic form is ready over here you can uh, this is uh, this is the form properties you can decide on the f uh, which font you want to use font size and uh, enable close on end machine uh, so you can enable close button as well from here right you minimize and close button as well so we don't want this button to be added if you if you have included this so let's keep them enabled as of now and here you can create a reference uh, hidden fields uh, you can mark uh, you can create your fields to hold some values for for doing some manipulations but you don't want those elements to uh, appear for the user so you can keep hidden elements as well and you can tag them with the respective of uh, uh, respective variables so this is how the uh, form uh, looks like we will save this form and now let's close this and create a bot in order to run this form or display this form we need a bot right so let's create a bot um, let's name this bot as employee details bot and from here we will create a bot in this bot you can navigate to forms interactive forms so in interactive forms you have these many actions just to uh, work with form and the elements right so the icon which you see over here uh, they these actions work with the form elements and these actions work with the form itself so right now the first task for us is to display a form so we will drag and drop the display form action and we will choose the form name from here so in order to choose the form name first we need to create a variable of type form um, i'm naming it as an emp form right uh, as of now and for the default value let's choose that form from here in our interactive forms we have employee details form i am choosing that form as a default input so now this emp form holds the value of that variable uh, holds the value this emp form variable is of type form form and it holds the value of the form that we created just now now with this step the form will be displayed let's try to visualize this run this and uh, let's see the form so this is how the bot is executed and we got uh, the form got displayed and it it got uh, closed as well right so here now uh, we have designed a form wherein we have two values that are to be entered by the user and then clicking of the submit button so when the button is clicked we want some event listener to listen right for that we use trigger loop over here so trigger loop we will drag and drop this trigger loop action and in, in handle we will choose the form interactive forms trigger and the name of the form form element on which uh, we want this to execute right so uh, we have submit button on click of submit button when the submit button is clicked what action we want to perform that we can uh, that we can uh, list down here so this is our trigger loop and going back to the interactive form so here what we want to do is uh, let me just uh, duplicate this and open the form as well uh, side by side so that it's easy to relate so basically what we want to do is we want to capture the values of the text boxes let me close this form uh, let me open this employee details form and we want the, to grab the value of enter your name and enter your employee id right so these are the two text boxes we want to get the values so we will use the get action so get value from employee form and the form element will be text box 0 you can see here uh, this is our text box 0 the element id and for this is text box 1 so text box 0 and we will store this value in uh, let's create a variable emp name so this is our employee name and again we will we will just copy paste this maybe control c control v and here we will have text box 1 and in text box one, we'll create one other variable that will be employee ID. Create. So now these two are getting the value from the form, and uh, we want to assign that value, right? Assign that value to this particular on click of submit button. We want to assign or display this value over here. So uh, this is the text area wherein we want to display. So let's use this set method so set action employee form and text area and in text area we want to override that value right so in text area what we want to say we want to say welcome the welcome employee that employee name 
employee name and your employee ID is so we can say that your employee ID is uh, the variable for employee ID was AMP ID okay so this is how we will display the message all this will happen on the click of submit button and remember we had one more button over here that was close button it's not needed because we have included the close and uh, action on the form itself but still we will let's uh, write a code in case you don't wish to uh, uh, have this close button in the form itself then how we will write that code you will again have to uh, write one trigger loop and in that trigger loop in handle condition you need to choose the forms trigger then the name of the form and the element would be close button so on click of close button whatever action you need to perform you can uh, you can mention that over here let's go back to forms and what you want to do is you want to close the form right so we can add this close action and this is how the form will be closed let's run this and see how it works so basically it will take few moments to deploy the bot and uh, once the bot is deployed the form will be shown to us and we need to enter a few details so these are mandatory fields that's why the asterisk sign over here that's our uh, you cannot pass you cannot proceed further without passing the values into this uh, enter your name so let's say we will enter the name a PA feed enter your employee ID let's say 1005 and then click on the submit button so welcome RPA feed and your employee ID is 1005 so this is how we got the values and we displayed the values so this was a basic example of how to use the form uh, uh, the interactive form uh, there are many real-time use cases for this so if you if you are developing a bot which is a mix or uh, like a hybrid model and where uh, it's an it's an it's a kind of hybrid model of attended and atten unattended automation so therein you can use this type of form to display and to take input from the user for example your leave management approval system or or a, or a call center guy using a, uh, using a form assistant to load some details of the consumer and then querying the data in the background so this can be your customer details and this can be your button to fetch the data from uh, for this particular customer and that gets uh, when you click submit your bot processes the customer information and brings you the result on the screen which you can then uh, communicate to the customer so the, there are many such use cases for uh, re for desktop uh, this is how uh, you can work with interactive forms you can click on close on clicking of the close button your form should get closed uh, right now it's not getting executed maybe we did something wrong here let's try to close this form from this button here and stop this bot for now so the bot is not working like the close form didn't work because maybe we specified that uh, in the in the form itself that's why uh, let let's uh, disable this from here and now let's try if the close button works let's run this bot again enter your name this time let's enter us Bob you can get rid of this as these information as well 1007 submit the this is fine close somehow our close button is not working so we need to figure it out why it is not working uh, this time we need to manually stop the bot when let's let's figure it out why it's not working so here uh, here it's not working because we haven't used the break statement so we are in the loop and uh, it, it is it keeps on monitoring it keeps on waiting for that trigger to happen so here for example we need to use the break statement uh, from the loop so in trigger loop we have a break action so we need to use that break action as soon as that event happened right so as soon as we click on the closed button the form get closed and we we come out of the loop similarly for the case above when the submit button is clicked we perform the set of operation and then we come out of the loop right okay let's add some comment here um, and here as well so this is this comment will um, on click of uh, close button uh, and this will be on click of submit button actions to be performed on click of submit button and on click of close button so let's run this one more time 
this time it should work the close button should work fine and bot shouldn't be stuck so let's enter here rob employee id maybe 1201 submit welcome rob and your employee id is 121201 let's close this so this is how the bot executed successfully so this is all about the interactive forms or re for desktop in case you have any concerns any doubt you can comment down below this video and we'll thanks for watching